One timers here, Matt and Justin. This is an interesting one because it's the winners of Group D, an unlikely team, Costa Rica, taking on the runners up in Group C, and also another unlikely team they got here in Greece. Uh, this one I think is going to be interesting simply because I, I'm pretty sure this is uncharted territory for both teams, and one of them is going to get to the quarterfinals. Um, Costa Rica, the one team that did not have a World Cup title to their name in, in Group D, but yet came out and beat uh, they beat uh, Uruguay 3-1, beat Italy 1-0, and then and drew with England 0-0, won the group. Greece... They got blown out by Colombia in the first match, 3-0. Came back, uh, drew Japan, 0-0. And then finally got a goal, uh, but they got two goals that matter. They beat Ivory Coast 2-1 and probably the most dramatic game in this tournament with uh, the late penalty and stoppage time that uh, that uh, Samaras put away um, to win it for Greece and get to this point. I think this is going to be an interesting match just because I don't, I don't really know how it's going to go. Definitely two contradicting styles. I think this game feels like a uh, elite eight matchup between Butler and and Wichita State. Uh, two, like, two, two teams that are kind of not expected to be here, and you like to see them take the under the underdog against both teams they face. Costa Rica has played way a lot better than anybody expected. They they took down two European powerhouses, and then one of the best teams from last year. Uh, I don't even think even one of the Costa Rican players would have could have told would have told you this um, in their wildest dreams. And Greece, um, Greece is probably the worst. It's probably the worst team going into the knockout round. And that's hard for me to say because I, I'm, a, I'm a fan of Greece. I like the way they play, but it kind of seemed like to me they're limping into the into the um, knockout round. Uh, they got a little fortunate on, on the penalty, uh, a little questionable. Um, I'm not sure about it. Um, but this Greek team is having a really hard time scoring it all, which is a, a normal problem for Greece. But this year, more than any other, they cannot find goal. Uh, it, even when they have clear chances, they just can't create, they can't create that many chances. Even when they get them, they're not scoring. Uh, I think that this, this is one of those games where it, it, we'll see what the tempo is. If, mm -hmm. it's, if it's an open type game, then the pace and a lot of chances going back and forth, I think there's no doubt Costa Rica will win. But if, you, if Greece can make it a physical game, if they can make the pass, if they can stop one, two passes between Costa Rica, and if they can, if Greece can get a free kick or two or a corner or find one of those goals, they can find a way to move on. But I think it's one of those games where the first five, ten, five to 15 minutes, the tempo of what type of game it's going to be is, is really telling. And I think maybe the weather as well will be a big telling sign um, about how Greece can stay with Costa Rica on a, on a tempo and case-wise. Yeah, I think um, Greece was fortunate in getting that penalty and able to, to get to this point. Um I th the thing that really sucks for Ivory Coast is I think it, it, I I think it has to be a penalty. It's a dumb penalty because he kicked his you know he like hacked at his leg right before the ball got there, and it was basically like he just ran into him. But it, it, you know one of the not as big time of a penalty, but you you would call it anywhere else on the field, and it, it's in the box. Um, it wasn't a you know at least it wasn't like a, a Fred flop or anything like that. Um, but I. What really intrigues me about Greece is sure they don't they don't really create a lot of chances, but what they do is they, I mean they've only scored one goal from from the field of play, but that one goal really is what got them to this point, um, surprisingly enough, and it was basically because uh, of of an Ivory Coast mistake. They just passed it back. Oh, Greece stole it, went and scored, and and that's really what Greece does. They have that perfected. They defend very well. They're organized behind the ball, and then they just wait for you to make a mistake. And then they pounce on it, and it, it somehow gotten them into the into the round of 16. Um, Costa Rica, what kind of worries me is they scored three goals against Uruguay, but then they've they've started slacking off. They only scored one against Italy, and then they didn't score at all against England. Um, so you almost hope that this isn't a case where they're now starting to to slowly go back and not being able to score goals. But I think one thing that does need to be noted 
is uh, I think out of all the three teams they played so far, I think Uruguay has the worst defense. Um, I think England's defense, and I think um, Italy's defense, especially Italy's defense, is, is, is uh, England and Uruguay, you could probably go either way, but I think Italy's defense is much better than Uruguay's. Um, so, you know, they, they did wait, find a way to score against Italy, so I feel like they will find a way to score against Greece, but Greece has a very good defensive strategy. Um, it just depends on if Costa Rica makes that one fatal mistake. Uh, like I said with that Netherlands-Mexico game, it could go to penalties. This one could go to penalties just because no one figures out a way to score. I, I, I don't want to see that. I think, I think Greece might settle for that. <laughs> and then uh, Greece might just say, throw a penalty and we'll say, we'll, we'll, we'll try to make Costa Rica beat us uh, by packing any 10 guys behind the ball. I did like, I think Greece was a lot more positive in, in their, in their last match against Ira Coast. They definitely went forward a lot better. Mm-hmm. Um, and did, did a lot more, uh, positive stuff on the, on the offensive side. Uh, it's just going to be interesting to see. I, I, I love the great player. Um, interesting to see in this game. I don't know um, how many of these players have been in a match of this magnitude before on both sides. Mm-hmm. I, I, would, I would guess Greece has, has more players that have played in uh, even like a UEFA Cup or a Champions League type atmosphere. Yeah. Um, I just I just wonder with some of the coast with Costa Rica um, how the moment the moment too big for them because. I think we both have seen in past World Cup, if you're a striker, you might only get one, maybe two clear chances, and if the moment's too big for you and you're you're really nervous and you lean back and hit it over the bar, that could be the end of your World Cup. So um, I think this is one of those games that that's going to be this is going to be a very close game. Um, it's going to be one of the an interesting game. I think it could be very exciting. The Colts could put to the face and does it successfully, or it could be like watching paint dry for 90 <laughs> minutes. See what Greece can, uh, how physical Greece can be, and if they can make just have 20 percent possession and make Costa Rica pass it around. Um, I, I think Greece find a way to win one to zero. I don't. I just don't. I think the moment might be too big for Costa Rica, and I think Greece. I, I wonder what teams that win the last game to get in. I think there's some, some momentum there. Um, I think Greece find a way one to zero, whether it be off a free kick, penalty kick, or a cheap goal off a, an experienced turnover from from Costa Rica. Mm-hmm. I, I think I will agree with you on that. Um, no disrespect to anyone in Costa Rica. But the man who stepped up to the spot and fired away the penalty to, to defeat Ivory Coast, Sam Aras, um, he plays for, for Celtic. He's been in Champions Leagues before. He comes up big for them in that last year. He only had like one touch, but he made sure he put him in the back of the net to, to at that point, even it up with um, Germany 1-1 one, one and put a little fear in the Germans. I think he's the one that will get it done. I, th- I think he will either be part of the play that creates the goal or he might be the one that puts it home, but I, I think I agree with you. Um, I think Greece has that that big time striker that can get it done, and uh, I think uh, I'll, I'll agree with you. We'll both take Greece here. <laughs>